Let's get started with making our pickup system. The first thing you want to do is go over to starter player and lock the player camera in first person. This isn't required, but it does make the game feel more like doors. Once you have this camera mode set to lock first person, if you did choose to do that, go over to replicated storage, click plus, and create a remote event. Once you create this remote event, go ahead and name it. Name it Play Sound RE. Once you have it named Play Sound RE, go over to Starter Player Scripts, click plus, and create a local script. Make sure it is not a normal script that looks like this. Make sure it's a local script. Once you have your local script made, you can go ahead and name it if you want. I'm gonna call it Play Sound. And once you have the script created, go uh, go ahead and double click it to open it up and then we can get started editing it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and grab uh, replicated storage. So local rs equals game colon get service replicated storage. Once you have that, go ahead and type another line for the uh, remote event. So local play sound equals rs colon wait for child and then play sound re. Basically, we're just getting access to this remote event on this line. Next, we want to create a function. So play sound dot on client event and then connect a new function to that. Just like this. It's a colon. Then you have a connect and then you're putting a function inside these uh, two brackets right here. Once you have that done, go ahead and go inside or real quick, for, uh, real quick right here. Just type sound ID so we can get the sound ID. And now what we need to type in here is local new sound equals instance dot new. This will create a new sound to play uh, that's that little sound effect when you pick up a tool and uh, underneath that line go ahead and type new sound dot uh, sound ID equals sound ID make sure the first one is uh, capital S capital I the second one is all lowercase once you have that done go ahead and type new sound dot uh, remove or I think uh, play on remove equals false just like that and then new sound dot parent equals workspace after you've done that go ahead and make sure you set the volume so new sound dot volume equals i think two sounds good to go ahead and set it to that and then after that do new sound colon destroy and that will play the sound because we have set the play on remove to true make sure it's set to true and not false once you're done that go ahead and close that script off and go over to the tool you want to uh, start with the other tools uh, you're just gonna be able to copy and paste everything into them so i'm gonna start with the sword so i'm gonna open it up and create a brand new script and once you have your script created it's not necessary to name it but i will name it i'm gonna call it tool pickup script and inside the script we need to type local plrs equals game colon get service players once you have that typed out Go ahead, drop a few lines, local rs equals game, colon get service, replicated storage, and the same thing again, local play sound, uh, I'm going to type re for the script, equals rs, colon wait for child, and then play sound re. RE stands for remote event, by the way. Then you want to type local. And actually, before you type this, go ahead and go to your tool. Go to one of the parts in the tool. Make sure that part is near the middle of the tool if it's a complex tool. If it's a uh, one part tool like the sword, then it's fine. Go ahead and create a proximity prompt inside. So click the plus on the uh, part and type in proximity prompt. Uh, in this proximity prompt, set the action text to pick up and then set the, objects te uh, the object text to the name of the tool. So I'm just going to call it classic sword. And uh, actually, just to show you guys it works works and you don't think the script is setting it, I'm just going to set it to sword like that. Once you have that done, go ahead and turn off clickable prompt if you uh, if you require players to hold E and set a hold duration of about 0.15 is pretty good. And if you do want players to be able to click on the prompt, go ahead and turn that on. I'm going to leave it on for now. Once you have that done, go ahead and delete any touch interests you see. This isn't too important as the script will do that for you later, but just in case, go ahead and delete that. Now open up the script again and go over to line 6 if you're following along exactly. Go ahead and type local prompt equals script dot parent colon find first child and then you want to type proximity prompt and then go ahead and type true next let's get a line for the highlight uh we are actually going to be uh creating the highlight so that's the white outline on the tool go ahead and create a highlight go ahead and put it inside the uh, part for now and go over to the properties of the highlight set the depth mode to occluded and go ahead and set the fill transparency to one once you're done that go ahead and move it inside the script and you can go ahead and close off the part if you have it open go back to the script type local highlight equals 
variable is script colon wafer child highlight once you have that done go ahead and grab your variable for the tool so local tool equals script dot parent and then uh tool dot can be dropped equals false just so the player cannot drop the tool once they pick it up head over to the description and copy the uh, bit of code for this section once you have this code in your script go ahead and drop a few more lines go ahead and create a new variable called client and set it to nil now let's create a function for playing the sound local function and then play sound with two brackets hit enter it should create an end if you typed it correctly in here type play sound re colon fire client and put type the word client right there hit a, uh, hit a comma and then type in sound id 1 go ahead and duplicate the line change this to sound id 2 and once you're done that go ahead and make a few more lines outside of the function now let's make a for loop to go ahead and put that highlight that we just made inside the script inside all of the other parts inside the tool so for this let's go ahead and create a for loop so for i comma v in pairs and then tool colon get descendants and drop out like that uh, if you press enter it should create a do and an end for you if you typed it correctly then go ahead and do a local new h for new highlight equals highlight colon clone and then new h dot parent equals v and once you're done that you can get rid of some of the white space just to save some uh, script real estate now let's give the player the tool when they hold e on the proximity prompt for this you want to go ahead and create a function so prompt dot triggered or more of a connection but prompt dot triggered colon connect function in here go ahead uh, go ahead and type player and then drop down a bit it should create an end with a bracket if you type this correctly uh as long as you press enter right here and once you're done that go ahead and go inside to the middle line go ahead and type line equals player just so we can uh get this function up and running uh just so it doesn't break and then uh the next thing we want to do is go ahead and play the sound so we're just going to run our play sound function now let's go ahead and give the player the tool so tool dot parent equals player dot backpack once you've done that we can go ahead and destroy all of the highlights so let's create a for loop for i comma v in pairs tool colon get descendants if v colon is a highlight just like that make sure you type it correctly if v is a highlight hit enter it'll create a then and an end if he has a highlight then v colon destroy just so that it destroys all the white outlining once you pick it up now let's also go ahead and destroy the proximity pump so you don't see it while you're walking around pump colon destroy now let's go ahead and make it so you can actually uh, walk around with the tool so let's do a uh, tool dot anchored or actually we are going to uh, have to use a for loop for this part so for i comma v in pairs tool colon get descendants and then if v colon is a base part v dot anchored equals false v dot can light equals false once you have this done the tool will be uh you know you'll be able to walk around with it and you won't be stuck once you have that done let's go ahead and destroy all touch transmitters so we'd make another for loop or iv in pairs and then tool colon get descendants again we're gonna be doing if v colon is a touch uh transmitter uh one thing we should actually do here is use the class name property instead just in case b dot uh class name and then do equals equals and then put touch transmitter right there and it'll look like this then v colon destroy this just makes it so you can actually pick up the tool by stepping on it. you're gonna have to press e and once you're done that go ahead and close off the script hit play and i'm just gonna open my output just in case there are any errors we should fix uh, i'm gonna go ahead and hold e as you can see, it works, and the swords, and all the tools work, as you can see, uh, the cookie doesn't have any scripts. So yeah guys, that's how you make a doors pickup system in Roblox, if this helped you and it works in your game, hit that subscribe button just to let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.